Let's talk about that forecast as we take a live look at the waterfront. Here we see this ferry coming in. It's a pretty good day to be out on a ferry. Yeah, it's not raining right now, I don't think. Uh, is the rain over? Are we heading into warmer, sunny weather? <laughs> well, we are, but the rain's not over yet. So right. some spotty showers, they are going to return here, David and Jamie. I had to think about that for a little bit because it is really nice out right now currently. Just like Jamie said, we are dry currently in the city, but those showers are slowly starting to creep in now across parts of the North Sound. So here we are back on screen. The showers happening, like I said, especially across parts of the North Sound here. Very, very light, though. Nothing very heavy, nothing to affect us on that commute home. And we're also seeing a lot of that light green stretching into areas like Everett right along I-5. So just watch out for that. But like I said, just a couple little sprinkles. And that's exactly what we can expect throughout the evening as the cloud cover remains thick. And we'll probably watch that return across areas like Seattle and over into Tacoma within the next hour. On top of that, the visibilities, they are reduced. We've got that low cloud deck, right? So hard to make out uh, in far distances, but we're also seeing that fog, especially because that low cloud deck across parts of the cascade. So just use some caution out there. Did see that definitely developing across areas like Stevens Pass, Snoqualmie Pass, but right now our camera is looking golden, but expect more of that fog to roll in. Temperatures currently in the mid and lower 30s. So as the rain chances return for the rest of us, get ready for that wintry mix across the passes. So not ruling out that wet, thick snow and that's going to transition into some rain early tomorrow morning as well. So that mix is expected. Yes, but like I promised, we're going to quickly clear out. So tomorrow afternoon, it's going to be gorgeous. Temperatures are going to be in the 60s. Lots of sunshine will be dry. And then we have round number two coming our way. So cold front's going to approach the area. Some spotty showers early Wednesday morning when we wake up. Cloud cover starts to build and the showers increasing widespread in the afternoon. They are going to be heavy at times. And as that frontal system pushes through, not rolling out winds gusting up to around 15 to 20 miles per hour max, but it's going to be brief. And then we'll start to clear out later on that evening with partly cloudy skies the next day, which will be nice. So Thursday dry. But as we get ready for that new system, we're talking about a quarter of an inch of rain to tack on to what we've already seen as of yesterday, today, and this is where we're currently sitting right now, just shy of three inches. I'd love to see those totals adding up and we still have some time for the year. We're looking pretty up to about 15 inches of rain, but temperature wise, not too bad. Temperatures did peak in the lower 50s, at least across Seattle. Currently upper 40s now Bellingham over into Friday Harbor. We're looking at the upper 40s, Tacoma, Olympia 49 over in Hoquiam. And then later on tonight, temperatures they are going to bottom out mid 40s. Again, not too bad. Temperatures not fluctuating too much, but like I promised, those temperatures peak tomorrow. 61 for that high, and then we're going to tank on Wednesday, and that's just because of that frontal system that pushes through, and then a little up and down action taking place for the rest of the week. So here's a look at your 70 forecast, giving you some time to absorb this tonight. 46 degrees, not a big difference compared to what we're seeing right now. Tomorrow, 60s, loving it. And as we roll over in the weekend, that's when, one, the cloud cover starts to roll in an isolated shower, too. But overall, some sun breaks, especially taking place on Sunday and Monday as temperatures remain in the mid and lower 50s. Remember our normal temperature this year, 55 degrees. And that is a look, what we can expect.